Hey y'all, it's Mommy Wata and I am back. Let's hop right into the message. Let's see who the Holy Spirit has a message for at this time. Which king or queen, element or zodiac sign do you have a message for, Holy Spirit? Let's see here. Who is the message for at this time? Thank you so much for subscribing to this channel. And if you are new, please go ahead and hit all those appropriate bus. But I was about to say bus down. Bust down them appropriate buttons, okay? Most especially that like button, that thumbs up button. And Taurus is out here. So let's see. What is the message for my Taurus collective at this time, Holy Spirit? What is it that you would like for them to know? Okay, Queen of Cups was on the bottom of this deck. Let's see, Holy Spirit, what is the message for my Taurus collective? Please and thank you. What is it that you would like for them to know at this time? What is the message for those Taurus listeners? Or there may be someone who is involved with the Taurus, Holy Spirit. Ne nevertheless, what is the message for my Taurus collective? Please and thank you. The Hierophant Energy and the Tarot Deck, Holy Spirit. What do you want us to know about or for my Tauruses at this time? Eight of Pentacles. Y'all been putting in work. You've been working on yourselves here. Okay, that's what I'm getting right off of that. Yep, you trying to be happy. You possibly been investing and putting more effort into rekindling a relationship with this Two of Cups. Okay? So y'all trying to be happy. Y'all trying to be happy with who you're with. You're not... Focus on, I saw the moon card. You're not, we got the knight of swords. You're not focused on any actions that may have caused destruction in the past between you and this two of cups love choice here. Okay, you just trying to move forward. But there's somebody that's watching you, possibly a cancer. I'm telling you, I have seen the moon card. Somebody is watching you and this person trying to figure out what y'all doing, what y'all got going on, where y'all are currently at when it comes to the status of y'all relationship. Somebody is in the dark about what you've been doing, Taurus, and they trying to find out. Possibly to end it with this death card. Okay, some water energy out here. So Taurus, you may be dealing with the water sign. Or there may be a water sign who's on the outside looking in to your connection, trying to see how they can cause challenges to your union. I cannot make it up. I'm telling you what I'm getting, Taurus. You putting in work to revitalize a relationship, to be happy in your relationship. You and this person may have had some issues and problems in the past. Okay, but there's a moon page of swords energy who is watching you, watching this connection be rebirthed, revitalized, and they want to stop it. They trying to cause some type of blockage, challenge, or stop it completely here with this death to the seven of wands. They, they are trying to get more insight into your collaboration Taurus with whoever you go with whoever you with baby whoever this page of swords moon energy is they trying to figure that shit out they trying to figure out what you and this person got going on the star they trying to get some truth and clarity about how you and this person came to this agreement to start things anew to have some type of renewal here this page of swords moon energy don't get it okay they trying to understand how did this happen that's what i'm hearing with this star card because the star is falling right up under the sun they they trying to get some truth and clarity on how you and your person got back together clarify holy spirit because they probably tried to stop y'all from being together before clarify five of cups baby they 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 hurt they don't understand it Taurus they don't get how 
after everything they then tried to do with all them cups spilled over, okay, this person definitely tried to stop you and your two of cups, Taurus, and they lost. And they trying to figure out how they lost, and they trying to figure out how they can stop it now. Page of Pentacles. What did I just say? This person may be picking up a new line of study with this Page of Pentacles to try to figure out how they can break you up from who you with. Who, is, who are my Tauruses investing in currently, Holy Spirit? Eight of Cups. I'm telling you, Queen of Wands. I'm telling you, Taurus. This is somebody that you may have previously broke up with because whoever this page of swords moon energy is they wanted you to be single they wanted this person to walk away from you they wanted you to be a queen of wands they did not want you to be attached or associated with this person and for a time they were able to make this two of cups walk away from you and leave you single but you were fated to be with this person Okay, with this Wheel of Fortune energy here, you are fated to be with whoever this Two of Cups is to you in your life. Now, this Two of Cups, it's a relationship. Straight like that, Taurus, okay? So if you just got back with your partner or you and your partner decided y'all were going to work things out and make things last, okay, this is for you, for sure. And if you and this person broke up at some point or were having issues and it was looking like y'all wasn't going to make it, it was because there was a page of swords, moon energy, who was trying to manipulate this connection. They were trying to cause chaos and conflict between the two of y'all. Okay. And they were successful for a time. The five of wands is falling right up under. This seven of wands, they were able for a time to cause some type of issue for you and this person, okay? But what I'm hearing and what I'm feeling is that this was something that God wanted to happen. They allowed this person to manipulate the connection between you and your two of cups, Taurus, because they wanted to see how true you were going to be to the connection. They wanted to teach this other person, this partner of yours, a lesson as well. Because, baby, I'm picking up that they learned a lesson with this Page of Swords moon energy. Clarify, Holy Spirit. Nine of Swords with the Knight of Pentacles. Okay? They realized... In their plan to try to be with your person, that it ain't all it's cracked up to be. And vice versa. I feel like your person went through this nine of swords in their attempt to be with this page of swords moon energy. What they had planned when they walked away from you did not go like they thought it did. Like they thought it would, rather. Okay? So they came back to you. Because they could see from whatever they went through with this nine of swords that you were you were the more stable, logical, loyal, moral partner. The better choice. I mean, it is what it is, Taurus. Your morals and your values... How you choose to operate in your daily life, it speaks volumes to whoever you're in a partnership with. Okay? And I feel like this person realized that they were up under some illusions about who you were compared to this page of swords, moon energy. And they were. What broke the spell here, Holy Spirit? Because something broke the spell. Queen of Swords... Clarify this Queen of Swords energy. Eight of Swords. This Page of Swords moon energy, they could be a Queen of Swords. Okay. 
This person may have cancer and I just heard Aquarius in their chart. Okay, Taurus. But this is this is your culprit here. And what's been happening is what they were doing to you has gotten them in some type of trouble spiritually. This person is going through some type of spiritual penance right now as a result of doing this magic to break you and your spouse up. This person got air and water in their chart prominent, somewhere prominent. But they most definitely was trying to stop you from being in a partnership, okay? And I feel like you pop, you're you popping out as a king of pentacles because this speaks to your level of dominance when it, when it came to this connection. Your energy overrides this queen of swords energy and her attempt to block you from your partner. I'm telling you, it's something about your values, your morals, your character. You are the ideal choice to whoever this lover is, this partner is that you are in a commitment with. This person sees the truth about you. They also see the truth about the person that they left you behind for, for a time. Okay, because the Seven of Cups is coming out right before this Queen of Swords. They know what's up with her. They done learned. And I really feel like they've also learned that this person was trying to do something to keep them in this stalemate energy. This Queen of Swords was doing some spell work, child. Eight of Wands. They were sending out some bold and swift communication with this High Priestess energy to the universe to obtain some type of knowledge hidden knowledge about you and this person's connection currently 12 12 how y'all moving forward this person trying to figure that shit out they most definitely have been communicating with the ethers though to manipulate something in their favor when it comes to your partner and i feel like the reason why your partner ain't coming out as any more than a two of cups because there's some spiritual spying going on, Taurus, okay? I'm really picking up on some cross-watcher energy. They done popped into the chat right about now, okay, in this video. And they trying to figure out, just like this Queen of Swords. Hell, this Queen of Swords could be watching, Taurus, whoever you are. This Queen of Swords is trying to figure out how you and your your partner are going to move in the future so they can try to block it again. I really do not feel like they're going to be able to this time around, though. Like I said, the universe allowed this person to do what they did before and for it to go through because a lesson needed to be learned on your end and a lesson needed to be learned on your partner's end. A lesson about love here and loyalty and endearing okay love is patient love is kind it does not boast about right or wrongs okay and it's most definitely endearing taurus you have definitely en endured something here to love this person this person did abandon you walk away from you but i'm telling you it was it was because of spiritual manipulation Okay, it's because there was a queen of swords moon energy who did not want you to be with this person. They wanted to be with this person and they tried to stop you and them from being together. But y'all back at it again. Okay, 14, 14 and private life. Happy life is the energy here because baby, they can't they can't fuck up nothing. They don't know about hmm. They can't try to fuck up nothing, rather, that they don't know about. Ten of Pentacles. Keep y'all shit to y'all self, Taurus, okay? And I really think I'm about to drop the mic on this Ten of Pentacles. You see how that y'all got this shawl, this blanket, covering y'all shoulders? There go y'all child. Y'all may even have a child together already with this partner of yours. 
But this is how y'all need to cloak y'all business. Y'all need to keep y'all eyes facing forward. Don't look back at nothing or no, nothing nobody got going on. Continue to stay focused on your foundation and keep that shit covered. Keep it cloaked. That's what I'm hearing here. Because this Queen of Swords is baby. She she coming out in dominant energy now too because she's trying to figure out exactly how you and this Two of Cups are giving to and receiving from each other. Okay? And the Holy Spirit says that's the truth. So you better keep your shit to yourself, Taurus, because this whole trying to figure out how to stop it with this four cups, okay? And I'm going to leave it here. I'm dropping the mic. I hope this message helps someone. I hope it gives you insight and guidance moving forward. But always remember, y'all, if it doesn't apply, please let it fly. Take only what resonates. Leave the rest. Look forward to your new beginnings, your new start with your partner, Taurus, okay? And don't worry about this person. Don't worry about this person trying to stop your future. Because they can't. I'm telling you right now. That shit over with. What little effect they did have on your partner, that's gone. God has closed that door. And they're going to be forced to just guess about what you and your person got going on. The only way this person going to know anything you got going on is if you out here broadcasting your life with your partner for the world to see. Okay? And I'm going to leave it here. I hope this message helps someone. I hope it gives you insight and guidance moving forward. But always remember, y'all, if it doesn't apply, please let it fly. Take only what resonates, leave the rest, and I will be back soon with another one. And yeah, I know I had said all of that, but I had to run through my little spill again, y'all, just to make sure that nobody don't miss that most important aspect of my messages, which is, if it ain't your story, don't make it fit. And I'll be back soon with another one. Peace.